Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today, guys, I'm going to be looking at the brand new Hemor today. Now, this card is really cool, and one would say it is very exciting because of the attack Exciting Flame, which does 90 damage. However, if this Pokemon has at least three extra energy on it, it does 180 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That is really powerful. That is like doing Tag Bull GX, and that is very good. Now, you do need six energy. Thankfully, we do have some ways to accelerate now. Now, I'm not playing this in standard because I think this card in standard is a little too weak. There's no good fire acceleration in standard to make it work. I know people have tried it with Cherim. I tried it. Very inconsistent. Wasn't working. I didn't like it. We're going to wait actually until the new stadium comes out next set to retry this card. When that new stadium comes out in Brilliant Stars, this card in standard will be a lot better. For now, we're going to try and expand it with Embor. Embor has the ability Inferno Fandango, whereas... Often as you like during turn, you may attach a fire energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon. We can use this ability to attach fire energies to our heat more. We also have access to double color synergy, which actually does provide two energy for that effect of heat more to do the uh, full effect of sniping for 180, which is really cool. So we are going to be playing nine energy plus three DC and just try to build up a heat more and just snipe the opponent um for that attack it actually does 170 in total with the 90 of the active and 180 to the bench which is pretty good numbers against tag team pokemon so yeah before getting the video course show too the sponsor card cavern tcg as always guys if you're ever looking for any pdcgo codes make sure to go get them over at card cavern card cavern sells codes online for the cheapest so if you guys are ever looking to get any set codes of course like fusion strike and of course older sets like celebrations and evolving skies get them over there or if you're looking to get irl pokemon tcg singles card cavern sells those too and of course, if you get anything at Card Cavern at the checkout, use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your order. Help channel, help this, help yourself out, and help out Card Cavern. So yeah, big shout out to Card Cavern. Check them out. Use code LDF. All right, now let's take a look at the list I've brought to the tables today. Now, since it is expanded, a lot of stuff to put in here. Not gonna lie, it was kind of hard to, you know, fit everything in one deck because there's so many cards in expanded you can play in here. The main thing is we want to play a lot of energy recovery cards like Fire Crystal, to make sure we get the energy back in our hand when our heat more gets knocked out so we can keep accelerating for those exciting flames um of course we got to play four rare candy to make sure we're even getting the rare candy embor into play i also play in a reshizard now against v max decks you can actually use this as a really good attacker because a lot of the time you know heat more doing 90 damage to the active 180 to the bench is really good but 90 to the active is kind of sus of course against like a, a tag team pokemon you can hit them for 90 and then knock them out on the bench with 180 or vice versa 180 90 knock them out but having the reshi's art for the insurance of having that backup attack in the deck it's very very good we can do double blaze with you know exciting uh, exciting flame we also have flare strike it's just a really good backup attacker that can also sponge a few hits heat more of course is very easy to knock out and a lot of the time, it'll keep dying over and over again. And having Reshizard gives you that extra bulk and extra potential to take a big, clean one-shot. All the time, you can checkmate your opponent with Heat more because of the amount of damage you're spreading. And then Reshizard comes in to clean them up. That's why I do like it. And other, other stuff I got in the deck, of course, Giant Hearth, Heat Factory, really good cards. Heat Factory helps when you're trying to dig for that Rare Candy Embor. Got Chorus in the deck for draw. I uh, got a couple welders. You can still use welder in here. It's not a bad card to play. You can still do it if you want to maybe go like a, with an early double blaze dock. You can also use welder to accelerate energy too and draw you cards. If you already have, you know, like say an Embor or Rare Candy in your hand, you need to draw a couple extra cards, you got welder. Now you may notice I'm not playing any telescopic sight in the deck, which might seem like a no-brainer because why would you not play sight with Heemore? Honestly, I don't think you need it. I, I don't think that doing 210 to the bench really adds much to the deck overall because... It's just not very good because 210 damage, not many Pokemon, not many Pokemon expanded have 210 HP. Doing 180 damage is perfectly fine. A lot of the Pokemon that you might be hitting like Zashi and Vs have 220 HP, so it doesn't matter. So that's why we're not playing Telescopic Sight. I really don't think we need it in here. I don't think the math is very relevant. Trust me, the math fixing with Sight didn't make a difference at all. Let's go try the deck out. See you in action on PCGO and get some dubs. Okay, looks like we won the coin flip. So what do we got here with our start? Are we going to mulligan? We are not. We all have the tap pig and a rare candy, but no Embor. Hmm. Interesting. I'm to do attach to the tap pig so we can retreat it instead of having to find floatstone. So I might do that. We're up against a lightning deck. Could be Pikaram, which might be scary. No, a Zero and a Zangoose. Okay, then. I'll attach and pass. Then I can retreat tap pig if worse comes to worse. Then we can start doing some attacks with Hemor, I guess. Or they have a fan of waves. Never mind. I no longer am doing that. They uh, they play a fan of waves. Of course they do. <laughs> I mean, that's fine, though. I'd rather that than Enhanced Hammer, because I actually keep the DC, which is helpful. 
Dene and Blissey. Dene is a really good Pokemon to see on the bench because that's an easy KO with Heatmore. Let's play some kind of Blissey deck. Okay, interesting. Hmm. There's a Dedene. Hmm. Okay, Blissey might be a little scary, to be honest. It does actually rack up a lot of energy. So we'll see. And they got Cape, too. Yeah. It's a good thing they actually can't use Blissey this turn, though, because they attached to Spiro. All right, can we draw a Pokemon, like a basic? Rushy's art is good. We'll take it. In fact, might be something good to go into. So let's Juniper here. Lose some stuff, but that's fine, as long as we don't draw poorly, which we do not. I even get Floatstone. I can go into the Rushy's art here. Which is probably good. I'm actually going to Quick Ball, too. I'm going to grab a Crobat. It's in the deck, yeah. And then I can try to get Embor. If I can get Rare Candy here, I can Ultra Ball for Embor. And then I can knock out Sphero. Perfect. Nice. All right. We're, we're, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. And I have Floatstone, too. I can move Heatmore to... Or I can move Zarn to Heatmore next turn, which I might do. Um, I'm going to get rid of Ultra Ball. Don't really care about that right now. And then I'll just... By the energy out. I'm not going to do double blaze because I want to save it for the uh, Blissey. Because if we can hit Blissey with heat more, we can knock it out with double blaze down the road. So I'm going to save my double blaze for next turn. And then hopefully next turn we can attack. They play a Skyfield. Ooh, there goes my giant hearth. But you know what? Oh, speaking of Chorus, I'm about to say, if they, if they bench for a Pokemon, I could play Chorus and draw like, you know, 11, 12 cards. And that should guarantee heat more. Now, best case scenario, they don't attack with Blissey here, which they're probably going to do, obviously. They play a Dedenne. Oh my god. Okay, wow, they're discarding a lot of energy. That's actually kind of terrifying. No cap. That is kind of terrifying. But, fine. As long as Rushies are... Well, I don't know. This Rushies are could get knocked out. They have a boss in their discard and a flare grunt. Okay, well. Aim for 70. Fine. I could knock them out double blaze, though, to be honest. If I get five energy here, I will be able to double blaze knock them out, which is probably just fine. Needs to be five fires, so I can put that there. And float the active. Horse for eight. And then see what we got. Ooh, we didn't get there. I could do to Dene. I lose another end boar rare candy, though. I could double blaze for 200 and then knock them out with heat more. No, that won't work. They'd have 10 HP left because of the cape. Hmm. I mean... I might last for a candy. I have one prized. Hmm. Honestly, I might just do uh, Dedene, to be honest. I feel like if we get this double blaze KO, we're just like cruise control. So let's just do the Dedene. Looks like we're both doing Dedene plus Chorus. Chorus is going to be a good draw card for us, though, in this matchup. Okay, Dedene. We find three energy here. We get fire crystal. I Do I have three energy in the discard? I only have two. No, I'm just short. Oh my goodness. Hmm. That sucks. Hmm. I'm tepic, I guess. Now, if they have a boss and they gust my Yimbor here. We're going to be in a lot of trouble. But that's a risk I'm going to have to take. Damn it. That was a bad whiff. I needed one energy there. One fire energy to guarantee a knockout. We didn't get there. Okay. No gust. No gust. Good. Now, I have to kill the Blissey. I, I could go. I could go. I could try to go heat more, I guess. Do I have a Guzma? No. Could have went Guzma. I could have, like, brought in the other Blissey. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to go Reshi's Art here. We'll see. There we go. Yeah, okay. We definitely go Reshi's Art. Definitely take the Double Blaze KO. Fine. Do this. Do this. And then retreat. Probably just hold the hand, to be honest. I don't really see a point of doing anything else. Just knock him out Double Blaze. Don't think we're going to kill Blissey next turn, but we definitely needed to take that thing out. And we'll take our prizes here. We got Welder. It's fine. And we get an Embor. Okay, so I can... I have my last Rare Candy prized. So, unfortunately, I can't get Embor back into play until I find Rare Candy. So, if they gust my Embor and KO it, that might be bad. If 
But I didn't have Floatstone on. I could have went retreat into the heat more here. But now I can just try to go heat more. I can attack twice with heat more and KO both the Denny's and win. Oh, they're going to gust the, the Embor. They don't have a KO, though. That's fine. Hmm. Cool. Now, I guess it's because I didn't want to attack the Reshizard. We actually don't KO the Reshizard either. Or the we actually don't have a KO with Reshizard. Oh, I have a Guzma, though. I can Flare Strike to Dene. Which I'll do. Yeah, bring that thing in. Flare Strike, knock it out. And then next turn, if they kill Reshizard, I have game with uh, Guzma and Reshizard again on the other Dedene. Or I could just win with Embo or Heatmore on the Dedene on the bench. So I think that's checkmate. Unless they have a knock it on my Heatmore. No, no, they can't. I think that's checkmate. They have to end me. They have to end me to stop me. Team Yelgrun. Sure, that uh, doesn't really do anything. In fact, you know what? If they, I was going to say, they want to turn the energy off of my Reshizard, be my guess. But that is going to be GG's. They take out my Reshizard finally. But this thing put in a lot of words. why I am playing it. Because it's like, Heemore doesn't always do well by itself. Holy crud. How much energy does this thing have? 11 energy. Oh my god. That is one thick Balissi. That is GG's though, right? That is GG's. We attach. Play the crystal. And then... We just put the three energy. We grab a crystal onto the Heemore. And that's game. Right, yep, six energy, and knock out to Dene, and take it up. Boom, there we go. We beat him. That actually was, that was scary, bro. That Blissey was fat, bro. That was a thick Blissey. Damn. But Reshi's are putting a lot of work. All right, we lost the coin flip. Cool, though. Uh, we're up against another, well, another, it could be a welder deck. Okay, nice. This is a great hand. We got Ultra Ball for Dene or Crobat, plus Ultra Ball for Embor. But we might have to get rid of a lot of cards. I don't know. We'll see, though. Draw, if we draw a draw supporter, that would just be even better. Or did any of your Crobat. They flip over a Rowlet. They're playing a Grass deck. That's fine by me. Embor does... Or Tep Heatmore. Heatmore does hit for weakness. Can we win this turn? I think I do have game. And there's Juniper. Perfect. That's like the perfect top deck. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't have game. Never mind. I thought I had game. I thought I could win with Rushy's hard. If I hold the hand then? Hmm. Honestly, I don't want my Tepig to die. I'm just going to Juniper. It's fine. We, we're losing one rare candy. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. I think we can still get Embor next turn. I just want to protect my Tepig here from getting KO'd. Okay. We can Quick Ball here. Grab, I guess, another Heat more while we're at it. Sure. And I can go into Tepig, bench another Tepig, and we'll f just pass. And then next turn, we'll Juniper again. Fine. Yeah, I just want to protect Tepig. Because, like, yeah, I just didn't have enough Pokemon search my hand to pull that off. But that's fine, though, because I do want to protect the Tepig. They just tackle and pass. All right, if I can get Embor in play here, that'll be a wrap. We'll see. I still have the Dene and Crobat, so we'll see if we can get this Rare Candy Embor going. And then I can just KO this Rowlet. And there we go. We got him. Got the evil incense. Grab the big bad boar. Rare candy into the Embor. And do I have enough energy? I do. Yep. That's game. Just play Fire Crystal. Those energies on. One, two. We play Giant Hearth while we're at it. I also add Dene plus Crobat to dig for energy if I really needed more. And that is GG. Looks like we won the coin flip, which is good. We'll see what we're playing against here and how we get going with our starting hand. Okay, not a bad start. We got Heemore, we got Tepig, I got Reshiram and Charizard, which I'll hold off on benching because I don't even know what we're playing against, right? So might need to save it. What kind of dark deck? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Point is, we're chilling. Got a pretty good start. I'll attach the fire. I'm not going to play the DC because they could have removed it with a, with a removal card. So I'm not going to do that. And hopefully our Juniper gets us into Rick and Embor. We could have a turn two eat more here. Swinging with that turn two exciting flame. And uh, we'll see how that goes. But we need my opponent to play the game. Which they are taking a long time to put their active into play. There they go. So yeah, we'll see if they put multiple Pokemon down for me too. To just kind of eat up with Embor or heat more. That's kind of the game plan. Okay, we draw extra cards which is good. Hey, there's Rare Candy but no Embor.
I'll put that there and I'll pass. They open up with a Sableye. It's fine. It can get two shot by extending flame, which is good. See the benchmark Pokemon here. I do have rare candy, but I just don't have Embor. Or a way to draw cards to keep the hand and do rare candy. So we'll have to see what happens. Say they're playing a quick ball. They're benching Pokemon. I kind of want to get the Sableye out of here. I could try to go for Reshizard next turn too, if I get the Embor instead of going Exciting Flame. I kind of just feel like Exciting Flame is better, especially because we can already two-shot the Sableye with Exciting Flame. So I might just do that instead. Putting a three-prizer in play might be sketchy against Sableye. Sableye does do a lot of damage to a three-prizer, like Reshiram and Charizard. I got a Galarian Slowking V. All right, sure. Yeah, if I can draw a Embor here, that would be great. I don't know if I will. I don't know if I trust the game, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what they decide to do next. They play Cynthia. Okay, the more Pokemon the bench is better. But I'm probably just going to hit the uh, Slow King for 180 damage anyways. That'll probably be my target unless they bench something like an ADP or something. For the most part, though, I'm going after that Galarian Slow King. We'll see. They don't put any energy in play. All right, sure. We drew Crobat. Okay, that could help us. We're going to have to bench Rushy Zard. We got two extra cards. Can I find an Embor to go with this rare candy? I do. Perfect. And I can Juniper two. And then we get that exciting flame off here. Here it goes. So we need to find two energy or another DCE off of Juniper to try to get this attack here. There's DCE. There's another Embor or Heatmore, sorry. I didn't get the energy though. Shoot. So I actually didn't get exactly what I needed. Yikes. Not the Dedene then. I already attached the DC for turn. So I need to find two fires here. We still whiffed. Oh my God. No way. We still whiffed the fires. Dude, that is brutal. That is so brutal. That would have been a really good turn. That's actually kind of insane that I actually whiffed. We'll have to just end them next turn. Yeah, no, no fires, no giant heart. You hate to see it. Lucky my opponent. Whatever, whatever they try to target here with their energy attachment or their evolution, we will target it with heat more. Because ideally we want to go heat more, set the Pokemon to be KO'd, either we KO it, or we knock it out of Rushy's Are they center lady? Whatever, sure. I mean, I guess now we can't kill the Sableye, but not a big deal. It ha hasn't even damaged me yet. Garbodor. 330 HP. Does have a pretty good ability. And they just pass. All right. We'll quick ball this away to thin the deck out a little bit. I'll just end. I'm not... I don't want a Juniper. I don't want to lose too many resources trying to dig for two energy. It's not that hard to hit the two energy. Yeah, see, there we go. I do get more cards to work with, but I'm not really concerned. Considering their setup is bad. Now, the question is, what am I going after with Heatmore here? What do I feel like the best target is? Probably would have... I'm going to save the Heat. I'm going to play... I'm going to save the Giant Heart. They're not going to kill me next turn with their setup. So I'm just going to go after the uh, the Garboder because we can knock that out. All right. Little, little late to get the attack, but you know what? We'll take it. <laughs> we finally got the two energy to attack and hit them here. And I can take five prizes next turn. Which is pretty cool. Now, they could protect Garbodor if they... I mean, they could play two tools. So they can, like, give it more HP. That would be scary. They chance the Slow King. All right. See, now I'm going to go after the Slow King with Heatmore. And then we'll save the Garbodor for a rainy day. We'll go after the Slow King. Because they're going to attach to it, right? They're going to try to build up Slow King, do their thing. And then I'll just go after Slow King with Heatmore. Oh, they're going to Bird Keeper now. Oh, okay, sure. I guess now I can't take five prizes. But that's fine. They're probably going to go Concoction, I guess. Cape. Ooh, that doesn't really matter too much, does it? Not really. I can still take the thing out with uh, with Exciting Flame into a Double Blaze or something. We are in top deck mode. How many supporters do I have left? Still have a decent amount of outs. Still via Seeker too. I'm, I kind of want to save the Giant Hearth. I have a feeling they'll play like a Black Market down and I'm going to like cry. <laughs> you know? I think I have to play it. I need to start thinning the deck out. I need to start thinning. I'm not going to touch the energy just yet. I don't know where to put it. Now we'll just Exciting Flame... Knock out the Garboder VMAX and take, uh, might as well take three prizes here. See you later, Garb. Let's see what our prizes are. Quick ball, not good. That's good. And that is also very good. All right, cool. We'll see what they got. I might regret playing the Giant Hearth. Again, if they do play a Black Market, that would suck. But, I mean, Black Market only applies to the Pokemon with the energy on it. What else are they going to do? They haven't really been doing much. They can Word of Ruin me, which is fine. Gym Trainer. Okay, that actually worked, and they drew four cards. Whatever. They can Ward of Ruin me here. 
And then I'll do another Exciting Flame, knock out the Sableye. And then I KO Slow King for game. If they evolve into a VMAX, it'll die to Reshizard pretty easily. They Quick Ball here. They can grab another Basic. They can get another Basic if they want. What are they going to grab? What are they going to grab? Whatever they grab, I can attack. Gengar. Gengar might be annoying. We do have three Pokemon in play for Gengar, right? Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll go after Gengar. Because if it evolves, we want to make sure it has damage on it so that it's KO'd with Heatmore or Reshizard. They're going to Word of Ruin me. You know what? If I can draw a Guzma here, I can get out of the Word of Ruin. Nope, I drew Juniper. Um, do I have enough energy to attack again? I might. I do. I do, I do, I do. I could just retreat here, attack again, and then reset the... Yeah, that's actually perfectly fine. Let's do that, sure. Let's just reset the uh, the Word of Ruin. Just I, You're not getting your prize, buddy. No, 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 not today. One, two, three, four, five... Let me play Fire Crystal. Yeah, no, 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 no. Word of Ruin for you. Go here, sure. Hit this. Then after Gengar evolves into a VMAX, it'll get KO'd, and then I win the game because I take my last three prizes. I mean, we can just keep this up, too, because if they do a Word of Ruin again, I can just retreat. Actually, you know what? We just win next turn. This this thing dies. We did enough damage to three-shot it. The Cape of Toughness may have made it, so we had to three-shot the Slow King. We're still going to get him here, though, with an Exciting Flame regardless. And they evolve, and that's game. Unless they play a Mew or a Big Charm or something. No, Big Charm won't save him because they still have 140 HP. So that is basically game. The fact that they evolved. I mean, I guess they had to. I guess, actually, you know, there really isn't anything they can do regardless because the amount of damage we've accumulated on the board with these Heatmore Snipes, even evolving wouldn't have saved them because they're still going to die. So I guess they have, like, there's no reason not to evolve, I guess. I don't know. They have to bench a bench protection to stop me from winning here. They aren't even taking a prize this turn regardless. Even if they somehow were surviving the turn and I wasn't going to win, it's like, what do they do anyways? It's like, I still have another turn to survive. I can retreat out of the Ward of Ruin, play the Fire Crystal, reattach the energy to Heatmore, then grab a Piers. Do they have anything they can grab? They can go Sloking VMAX, but because they put the Gengar VMAX in play, I just win the game. That's not even going to save them. Like, they'll knock me out. I could win with Reshizard or Heatmore. I guess what they should have done, knock me out Slow King, VMAX, don't evolve the Gengar, but I win anyways with Reshizard. I, I just think I checkmated them regardless. I'm pretty sure I just checkmated them no matter what they did. Because either VMAX they tried to use here was going to get knocked out, so it wouldn't matter. I guess I checkmated them in the end anyways. This Heatmore is kind of nuts, bro. This card is insane. Yeah, this Slow King is like, it's it's dead. It's got 140 HP. It can die to Double Blaze or Heatmore. We can snipe the Gengar. We're going to just snipe Gengar for game because that's just a cooler way to win. That is a cooler way to win. It's just snipe Gengar. We still have a Retrieval, right? Yeah, we still got another Crystal. And that'll be GG's with the uh, Emor deck. We'll take it. Let's see what our top deck would be. All right, Crystal? Perfect. I mean, we could just chill out. But yeah, we'll go for the Crystal. We'll just take the snipe on the Gengar because you know what? We want We want to try to have as much action with Heatmore as we can. GG's. Boom. Knock him out. I mean, it ain't the Reshizard show. It's got to be the Heatmore show, you know? So we'll take that dub. All right, we won the coin flip. We'll take it, I guess. We're up against a Lightning deck. Could be a Pikarom deck. No bench protection. We get a Tepig start. We have Embor, but no Rare Candy. So I could try to dig a bit with Crobat, which I might have to do. We'll see. As long as our Tepig doesn't get KO'd, I might have to get another Pokemon in case they can KO Tepig. Ooh. Or we draw the Rare Candy. That's fine. I'll grab Heatmore then. Now, again, we don't really have a way to stop Tag Bolt, unfortunately. But we'll see how it goes. Because my opponent doesn't do much here. I have a good hand. If we don't lose our hand, and I can get a turn two Exciting Flame off, I can kill the Voltorb and hit the Picarom for 180, and the Picarom just attacks me, I can KO with Exciting Flame because, you know, the 180 plus 90 is enough to take out most of the tag teams except for, like, 80 P. No, they play Jolteon EX. I mean, I can attack it with... Oh, no. They have Elixirs. Oh, they might actually get the attack. Not good. Don't knock me out. Okay, good. Jolteon's a little annoying. That's good top deck. Jeez. Jolteon's annoying, but I can knock it out with Double Blaze if I really have to. Plus, I can attack with Embor. Embor can two-shot it, which is nice because it has 160 HP. It's actually not that much of a threat. 
I can also just choose to KO it if I really wanted to. Okay, not bad. And uh, get almost get the attack, right? No, we do have the attack. We have the guaranteed attack here. Let's quick ball. Grab Crobat. Do this. Grab two more energy. And they full blitz me. And then it's like, I'll just knock you out, buddy. I might just have back-to-back -back heat more hits here. This is insane. What a turn. All right, Crobat. Can I get another thing? I do get another thing. Get rid of this. I'll keep Reshizard, obviously. It's like our only way to really deal with Jolteon as an efficient way. And then we'll just Exciting Flame. Hit the Pika. So if they bring in Pika Rom, it gets KO'd by either like Flare Strike or just another Heat more. I mean, I could win next turn, right? If they knock me out with Full Blitz here, right? I could just win the game. If I can get six energy back onto the Heat more, I can just win the game by knocking out the Pikachu and Zekrom with Heat more. They could try to tag bull me this turn, I guess. It's not impossible. Oh, they go after Embor. That's a misplay, though, unless they're going to tag bolt me here because my Heat more still has energy on it. Plus, I have another Rare Candy Embor anyway, so not a big deal. I think that was probably not the correct play to do, but I think we're going to win here. I mean, yeah, you'll knock me out, but it's like, you're not taking out my Heat more. I think maybe they just gave up. Maybe they just didn't have anything and they just had to go for it. That might have just been the case, but that's game. That is GG's, because we can kill the Jolteon and take six prizes in two turns with Heatmore. That is pretty impressive. I'll take it. That matchup could have been scary. Again, we don't play Mew. We don't play many ways to take out Jolteon apart from Embor and Double Blaze GX at a full effect. Okay. Lost a coin flip, unfortunately. We're going to be up against a Grass deck eventually. Oh, they're letting me go first. Thank you. Our starting hand is actually not bad at all. Pretty good hand, I guess. We can do some stuff. Hook ball for Heatmore. Save Ultra Ball, maybe? Or I can Quick Ball for Crobat. We'll see. Okay. Vega Volt. Oh, that's freaking... That's scary. That's not good. We don't have the Dene. Yikes. Grab Heat more. Yeah, Vega Volt definitely could be tough to take out. So we gotta be a little careful there. Might as well do Crobat now. Well, yeah. I could have saved the hand, but without the Dene, though, it's not good. We'll just do Crobat now just to get that extra draw. Okay. Didn't get too much off that, unfortunately. We're retreating to Hemor and Pass. Not the greatest Crobat, but I do have a Welder for next turn, which ought to be our supporter for turn, but I don't think that's going to get me Rear Candy Embor, which is not good. Do they have a Switch? <laughs> I actually do. Okay, wow. I need to draw a better supporter, like a Chorus or a Juniper or something, because I don't have my Dedene in the deck. Without Dedene, we can't do much, because I would love to do Exciting Flame. I'd like to hit that pink kerchin or hit Vika Volt. Alright, let's see if we draw. Not good. I'll have to just welder here. They're gonna probably spit shot me, so we gotta be careful. I don't want them to item lock me. That's the thing I'm worried about. If they item lock me, I'm screwed. We got Embor, but we didn't get rare candy. It's fine though. We can get there next turn. Maybe. Flame Cloak for 20. That is relevant because now we can kill the uh, cram rate if it's on the bench. Or we can two-shot it in the active spot now. So, that was good. But, oh, looks like they're not going to spit shot me. All right, that's fine. I uh, get to keep a Tepig. Oh, they're going to rope. Still go Tepig. Unless they scrap for me, but they might not. Hope we can draw a Rare Candy here. Or, well, Rare Candy would be great. Rare Candy would be great. Looks like they're going to go for the Bolt Hunt. Curious to see if they're going to build up. Okay, they are going to build a Vigable, which is scary. So I have to get Rare Candy thing in play or else we're... Oh, no, they've spread it out. Okay, fair play. That's that there. And we'll have to just get rid of the hand here. Get rid of the hand and pray. We got four Rare Candy. The chances aren't too bad. Especially if we draw Stretcher 2 now as an out to Embor. And we get there. We do. Nice. Perfect. So all I needed was make sure we get that down before this thing came in effect and now we can start the ball so we can go one here one here and then put the way to turn because i don't have thing give him tepig and i'll goose my next turn actually i might go gust i don't know we'll see the point is we got the emborn play before the vigvol came down so we'll have to wait another turn because i already attached for turn but it's fine and they're just gonna electrify perfect so i can just goose my here question is what am i gonna goose my up what am I going to Guzma up? I don't have a good target. Well, I do. I have a few targets. So what's the best target, though? I could go Kramer in. Then they get a B catch off. I go Pinkurchin. That effect activates. I mean, they're going to retreat the Kramer in. 
Maybe just bring him Vika Volt and just like... Yeah, Vika Volt's probably the best. Because the item lock is actually the least worrisome attack right now. Because it can't KO me. And if they... I mean, if they KO me, I can't play my items. But it's not that big of a deal. So I can KO the Cram. Work after Bolton. It could evolve into a VMAX. I think I'll take out the Cramorant though. Try to get some extra prizes here. Seems fine. Let's see what we get. Yeah, Seeker's good. I can do another Guzma. Dene? Perfect. All right, cool. So they end me or Marnie me. We can get to Dene in the deck. So I can Guzma again next turn, which I'm tempted to do. So yeah, if they, they can knock me out Super Zap Cannon, which is fine. If they don't item lock me, they're not going to stop me. The Center Lady, that's fine. So I, like, if they item lock, that's fine. I get another turn. Yeah, they have the Zap Cannon here. Alrighty then. Can't win the game just yet. But we can keep sending in the Heat Mores. Another VS, that's not good. I'm going to be out of Via Seeker. Oh my goodness. That was a really bad draw. Holy. I'm going to be very low on supporters if I play this. But I'm going to have to because I need to draw cards. Guess we're going to have to do the no Via Seeker challenge. We got one energy off that. No, man. Not even a chance. That's bad. That's really bad. Hmm. I can to Dene, though, which I'll have to do. We're running low on stuff, so we just gotta be a little careful here. I can get another Embor down, just in case. And then I can... I mean, I could knock about Reshi's art, I guess. That's probably just gonna have to be the play. I wanted to go Heat more, but I feel like we do just try, have to try to go Reshi here, I guess, and just kind of clean him up with that. I'm going to fail that. I don't want the heat more. I, I might need two heat mores. We don't know yet. I might need two. Okay. We do have the KO. We'll play this. Get rid of the rare candy. We have nine cards in our deck. And then we'll just knock him out double blaze for now and just chill out for a bit. And then next turn, we can just go heat more. Or I can just win with flare strike. So I think that's checkmate. We'll knock him out with double blaze. Take our prize. Welder. Another supporter's fine. We have like two supporters left, I think. We got two supporters left. So that should be GG's, right? We just win with Flare Strike, whatever they go into. Or I could try to... I could also try to win with Heatmore, right? Yeah, I could try to win with... I can win with Heatmore on the Pink Urchin if I can find one more energy. So we should have game here with either Reshizard or Heatmore. I think it's going to be fine with either or. Take the double with Rushizard. Yep, that's game. 160 damage. What does this even do? 40 HP less Pokemon. Good thing I have enough HP to take a hit. Get rid of these two. And that'll be GG's. Take four energy out of the deck. Outrage is 10 damage short, which is kind of funny. We can just do this. Oop, Flare Strike for the dub. Rushizard once again proven to be a good attacker in this deck. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed a tag team basic Pokemon would have been that good? Okay, we won the coin flip in this match, which is fine, of course. And what are we looking at? We're mulliganing. Okay, that good hand that we weren't going to keep. Or bad hand that we weren't going to keep. What am I saying? We didn't want to get that hand. So we'll see how this mulligan treats us. What are we looking at? Okay. I don't mind it. Don't mind it. We can... I mean, we have the Embor turn too. And we have Heat Factory, which could carry us a little bit. Not gonna lie, the Heat Factory could carry us. I'm gonna play that right now and just kind of draw some cards here. See if I can get anything good. Yeah, that's good. We'll Quick Ball with Juniper in case we like get Ender Marnie and I can draw via Seeker. Grab that. Attach. Pass. And then next turn, we can go Rare Candy, Evil Wind Scent, or Comp Search for Rare Candy, Evil Wind Scent, Rambor, or Juniper. And hopefully, we can get a, a nice little turn two exciting flame for the uh, 170 damage spread, which will be pretty cool. Idiot, whatever. Sure, that still dies. That still dies. They could retreat into it, I guess, and then mirror move, which it looks like they might do. No, they got a Pidgeot Spirit Link. They're playing a Pidgeot, a Mega Pidgeot deck. All right, well, we have game if my opponent doesn't move the Megirna or benches another Pokemon. We might just have game here. Well, then. We'll grab Embor. Do I have Dedenne and Crobat? I do. Okay, good. We'll do this. Get rid of these two. Our bear candy. 
Let's see if we can win here. I mean, it's kind of cool. Like, if you draw well enough with this deck, you can get these easy turn two exciting flame uh, KO or exciting flames KO. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's really cool. I like that. The Zembor is pretty sick. Can we get there? Mm, we might. I can Ultra Ball do this. Grab another Heat More. And then what we can do is Stretcher for Crobat. And then I can play it. See if we can get this turn one knock out of nowhere. Superior retrieval. No, I think we're one energy short. I need to do Heat Factory and try to get into it then. Perfect. That's GG's. We can just go do this. Do this. Grab two more energy. Play the Fire Crystal. Grab two more energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we can Embor. Four five six seven and that's game that's that's turn two donk with the deck that's pretty cool i that's pretty sick how the deck can do that i'm not gonna lie i like how this heat more deck can do that really cool stuff so overall man this deck wasn't bad at all um again the m board rare candy you have to find it but thanks to cards like crobat dene heat factory not too bad um and i mean when you can pull off the combo with heat more and Embor, pretty cool i mean you could play other cards you could maybe try out like a mar shadow gx and a mew in here if you want to do that extra type coverage if you want to copy heat more but yeah no overall this deck was pretty sick i think this heat more card definitely is a very fun card to play in the expanded format alongside embor i really enjoyed playing the deck today and uh yeah it was a lot of fun to try it out um maybe one day we'll try it in standard maybe it'll get better with the uh new stadium that's coming out um so yeah thanks for watching guys if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you got the new channel help me down below by subscribing on the road to reaching uh 24k subs we just hit 23.7k subs so we're getting close guys we are less than 300 subscribers away from 24,000 subs let's see if we can break 24k subs by brilliant stars release next month thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys later Bye bye